Compass Camper. Just wanted to give you a little update video on the campers that I make. Um, I had my original prototype in my first video, but that was a few months ago, and I wanted to give you an update of kind of what I do a little differently. This one is in my car, it's a 2016 Subaru Outback. Um, it has all the options, so including a split bed extension and the mosaic drawer faces and the slide out table that I'll show you. Um, so I guess I'll start <clears throat> with the frame. I made it a little more space efficient, used half inch up here to get deeper drawers. Um, it's completely framed with aluminum extrusion so it's super solid. Um, it's hooked into the car on all four points. One over there, one over there, and here with these turnbuckles. Um, so it's part of the car basically when you get it all hooked in there. Um, and these are the drawers, two drawers. They all have locking knobs. So when you wanna take out the drawer, you push both of them down at the same time and then you let go. You pull out the drawer. Here's what it looks like. We got two false tops on this drawer. That just pop up. And these come out, the removable dividers. Keep stuff from shifting around in there. These drawer slides are the 32 inch. They can hold they're rated for about 260 pounds, so they're pretty heavy duty. Um, I'm not sure what the wood is rated for, but you could totally put a, uh, a stove up here and you know, I can put a bunch of pressure on that. It really comes down to how well you have it locked into there. So when you weight this, it does the whole thing doesn't teeter. But you know, I have no problem putting a big stove on here and maybe a little heavier stuff on here. It also locks in the out position too, as you can see. And to close the drawer, I do the same thing as when I opened it. Just push both of them down once, and then I can push it all the way in. And you can slam it closed. They're kind of meant to do that. This drawer is the uh, slide out table drawer. So I'll do the same thing. So this is the table part that slides out. And this is just another false top. So to open the table, pretty much just pull the the drawer face out. Here's a little latch right here to keep it from sliding out on its own. Yeah, you just give it a little tug, comes out. Pretty stable. No problem putting a stove and some water on here. If you want it longer too, you can slide that over. You get a nice big surface. And it uses these drawer slides. The drawer slides on here are rated for 100 pounds when they're fully extended. Again, not sure what the wood is rated for, but uh, no problem putting a stove or whatever else you have on there. And that's how it closes. And again, just pushing both of these down, slide it back in. All of the wood in the drawers is coated with a combination of polyurethane and tongue oil. I give it about three coats, so it's nice and durable. You won't really scratch it. Uh, this is redwood in the front, so it's very water resistant um, and mold resistant, good for the outdoors. All the plywood is uh, marine grade plywood, half inch, so it won't really warp over time. Uh, it's good with moisture and it's very lightweight, which is really why I like it. Um, so it makes a whole camper pretty light relatively. Um, they average about 95 to 110 pounds based on uh, the model you have. And if you want the split bed extension, the three quarter inch plywood adds a little bit of weight for the split. Um, but overall, it's like having a kind of lightweight passenger in your car all the time. Um, I leave mine in my car pretty much all the time. Um, I just put the bed extension over the trunk frame and then I can have the back seats up and drive people around. So I never really think about it. It's nice having some storage in the trunk too. Um, just going around town and counter space, which is always nice. So again, this is a split bed extension, which means the bed extension is in two pieces. 
so one of your back seats can fold down and you can have a bed out it's good for like one person sleeping or the other side and you can have both out also um, when I do the bed extension I use three quarter inch plywood instead of half inch plywood for the normal bed extension this is what it looks like It's a little more sturdy with a three quarter inch when you're sleeping on a thinner piece of plywood. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and push the back seats down and show you what it looks like all set up. So here it is in this mode with one of the back seats up. This specific model is actually for a Honda Pilot 2018. So this actually lives on this side, but for the sake of this video, I just switched them because they're actually very similar dimensions. So that's why those are actually kind of on the other side. Normally they'd be kind of closer in line with the seat. That's what this looks like. This bed is about 73 or 74 inches. So, and this is 24 inches wide. Most of them are 24 inches wide for this single bed with the double seat down. And then you get a lot of space down here for storage and whatnot. And this is how it attaches. It's not tight right now, but you can adjust where these knots are on the carabiners um, to make it tight and make sure that's nice and stable. So yeah, that's what that looks like. Here's what it looks like when both are out and extended full-size bed about 40 inches wide by again 73 74 inches long um, it's got all the storage under here both of these are clipped Again, you'll want to tighten the knots to make sure they're nice and tight like that yeah and when you want to flip it back over I just unclip these leave them hanging on the headrest go like this and then you could slide your front seats forward for driving and whatnot. And to attach uh, the bed extension pieces to the trunk frame, you go under here and there's brackets with thumb screws that I will show you on the other build. Here is a standard build with mosaic door faces and also there's a slide out table. Um, this I use half inch plywood. It's much lighter and strong enough. This one is for a 2022 Outback. So it's about 76 inches long or 77, something like that. And this is how you uh, attach the bed extension to the trunk frame. So it's just these some thumb screws that go into those threaded inserts. Pretty simple. And most builds are like this where there's small and big turnbuckles. The smaller ones usually go on the rear, big ones on the front. So again, the mosaic drawer faces, the split bed extension, and the slide out table are all options and add-ons you can get. If you want just a standard option, it comes with plywood drawer faces. Both drawers will have two false tops, just like this on both sides and the conjoined bed extension, where it's not in two pieces, it's just one big piece with the headrest. The total height of the platform, if you get just a standard option, is eight and a half inches tall from the bottom of your trunk to the very top of the platform. Um, I found that's a good balance of headroom and drawer space. That gives the drawer space the internal drawer space four and a half inches or sorry four and three quarter inches and that is the average size of like say a soda can or a can of beans or something so you can uh, store those upright you can make use of the space a lot better um, if you do want more head space with a shorter platform or even more drawer space with a taller platform um, you can totally customize that just let me know and I can adjust the dimensions of these since they're all made to order. Um, so pretty customizable. 
And a lot of people actually, when they're not going camping for a good bit and they want to save on weight or whatever, they'll take the bed extension completely out like this. Um, kind of makes it a little easier to drive around town and whatnot, less things to worry about, less things to carry around. Um, yeah. Also, this carpet is indoor outdoor carpet. It's super durable. You can scratch it up, walk on it, whatever you want. Um, I've had mine for about nine months now and it's it's still good. And it's also backed with um, a rubber material so that if you spill water on this, it won't seep through and mess up your wood or what whatnot. So I'm really excited about this indoor outdoor carpet. It's the most durable I can find because um, I definitely load up a bunch of gear and whatnot on this as dirty and I could just vacuum it and it's good as news. I get a lot of questions about how to access your spare tire when this is on here. So you blow a tire and you need to get this out. Um, the easiest way that I found, say it's just you and you don't have another person to help you get this out, you'll take both of the drawers completely out. And to do that, you hold down both of these blue knobs continuously, you keep them held down, both of them, and the whole drawer comes completely out. And then that makes the trunk frame a lot lighter and so from there, you could take the entire trunk frame out once both drawers are out, and then you'll have access to your spare tire. And remember, when you put the drawer back in from being completely out, you wanna make sure the inner rails are nice and lined up with the outer rails when you put it back in. And when you do put it back in, you're gonna notice it's kind of stiff when you go and close it after taking it completely out. Um, don't be afraid of that. Just give it some muscle, especially at the end, it'll be stiff. And then just shove it in. Uh, that's kind of how the drawer slides are made when you take them completely out. And then once you put it in that first time after taking it out, then it'll be smooth. I have these available for local pickup in Chico, California, in Northern California. I also can ship these via strapping it to a pallet to basically anywhere in the lower 48 states. Um, so yeah, let me know if you wanna pick it up or have it shipped. If you have any more questions, you can go to my website, compasscamper.com. Um, you can submit questions to me there. You can look at my listings I have, more pictures, um, or submit an order. Thanks for watching my video. Hope to hear from you soon.